Welcome to It's My Biz, the big show for small business, the show that takes an in-depth look at small businesses whose owners have come to us because they want advice on ways to take their businesses to the next level. It's a little sad for us today because we've come to the end of this second season of It's My Biz. We've had an amazing time meeting some wonderful South African entrepreneurs from all over the country and discovering some truly fantastic businesses. We hope you had as good a time watching as we've had making the show. It's My Biz is also the show which has been offering an amazing prize for entrepreneurs. It's a stunning Nedbank financial fitness package for your business that includes two years free transactional banking from Nedbank, one day's consulting with Lauren Fleisser from Truetrepreneur to assess and identify the challenges that you're facing in your business and gives you a practical strategy to correct them. And a Samsung RC510 laptop, specially designed for durability and hardiness for the entrepreneur on the move. We've been giving away one of these packages every week during this series of It's My Biz. So if you want to give yourself a chance to win our very last fantastic prize of the season, then stay with us and give a careful listen to our Nedbank Biz Tip coming up later in the show. And for the last time this year, we've not only got an intriguing and entertaining show in store for you, but a really interesting one too, because it's all about a startup company with two wonderfully energetic young entrepreneurs at the helm. We're glad to have you with us as we take a look at their business to see what they could be doing to make it a better one. We're excited to be closing our season by featuring a startup because startups face unique challenges and the courageous entrepreneurs who put their passion and belief into them need all the advice and guidance that they can get. So for our final episode this year, we're going to be serving up a business based in Kempton Park near Johannesburg and not far from Oatambo International Airport. It's called Divine Catering Services. And it's a startup business that prepares food, serves it, and even organizes the events they cater for. And one of its owners is a food technologist. She originally put her plans for a business on the table by organizing events for friends and then doing the catering for them. With the support of her family, she started acquiring equipment and a partner. And the two young women were soon catering up a storm. Now, without any further ado, it's time to meet the women whose taste has resulted in a truly delectable business. The women in the BizBeam in this week's show, Rhoda Specker and Cecilia Ekinda. Welcome, Rhoda. Hi. And welcome, Cecilia. Hello. Nice to have you along. And as always, the team that just loves to prepare a mouth-watering combination of analysis and advice on It's My Biz, our biz whizzers, and they'll be applying all their skills and expertise to see how Rhoda and Cecilia here can take their business to the next level. First, our operations whiz, Francis Wright. Welcome, Francis. Thank you, Andile. Nice to have you. And there's our marketing whiz, Mike Said. Welcome, Mike. Hi, Andile. Thank you. Great. And of course, our legal and financial whiz, Thane Niemand. Hello, Thane, and welcome. Thanks, Andile. OK, guys, you've been out to see what Rhoda and Cecilia do. You're in an excellent position to rate their business. 10 would be a great rating, an amazing rating, in fact, and one not so great. So let's start with your first impressions, Francis. Well, Andilia, I'm going to score them at two. There's a lot of work to be done, lots of potential, but lots of work. Okay. Um, Mike, you're next. If passion and drive were something to score you on, I would give you an eight. But for your current marketing effort, it's going to be a four. Okay. Two, four. Your turn, Thane. Well done, Rhoda and Cecilia, for all your work you've done so far with a little bit of money. But let's pay attention to pricing so we can increase that dough in your pocket. So I'm going to give you a three for the financial management. But when the panel was out at Divine Catering, we also asked Rhoda what she thought the challenges were that she and Cecilia were facing right now in their business. The challenges that made them want to be right here with us on It's My Biz. Rhoda leapt at the chance to present a concise description of the challenges she and Cecilia are facing. And she stepped right into our biz booth. Let's take a listen to what she had to say. The challenges facing our business currently stem from a lack of cash flow and insufficient marketing. Right, we've heard some of the first impressions that our biz wizards had when they went to check out Divine Catering. And we've heard what Rhoda's thoughts were. But then it was my turn. I really wanted to see for myself just how Rhoda and Cecilia prepare for the orders in their business out in Kempton Park. Hello there. Hello. Andile from It's My Biz. Hi, Andile, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hi. 
Rhoda, so you must be Cecilia. Yes, I am. Okay, so Cecilia, I'm curious about when you decide to actually turn a passion into a business. It's always been there, but obviously it's not as a business. It was more like something I love to do, like, you know, just for pleasure. Because I love to make people happy and uh -huh. to, you know, just see Hosting people, events. Hosting events and seeing people in smiles on their faces and, you know, everything's pretty and they're happy. Yeah. I, I love that. Then how do you know you're ready to actually make a living off it? And more than that, actually make a business work? You know what, I yeah. think... So all of a sudden it became about divine catering services and um, I think that was when we knew, that was when we knew and we were so determined to just make it happen. Andile, a quick taste before we hit the road. This is really good. Thank you so much. You're onto something here. There's a lot to discuss about this business when it comes to the spread of challenges all right. And we'll have a healthy portion of some really interesting ideas when it comes to the challenges that Rhoda and Cecilia are facing in their startup business. So don't go away.